Today is a very important day because we must see how can we mobilize the public opinion to talk about the real problems of humanity, to realize that what really matters is global security, human security. And uh, I am very happy that Gary Jacobs, this very prominent personality, is now going very, very far in the project of human security, because security needs a new concept. We have a concept of territorial security, but then what we need really is to have the security of the human beings that are in these territories that are very well protected with bombs, with... but what about food and what about palatable water and what about health and what about education and what about environment. Therefore, I think that today in this uh, Global Peace Education Day, we must particularly deal with children and human rights because the children can be the mobilizers. Look, uh, you know, the human rights must be related very particularly with the children because they can be the mobilizers. They can realize that we are not spectators, that we must be actors of this uh, complete, very radical changes that are needed to enter in a different future, in a new era in which we really can say, yes, now the human beings are protected. Now the culture of peace has reached a point in which we will not, in the future, always talk about bombs and about armament and about... No. Sibis pacem para bellum will now be substituted by civis pacem para verbum. We must try to solve the problems by the word, by the intelligence, by particularly taking into account the interest of the children. In this occasion, precisely, we must also say that after 75 years of the Declaration of Human Rights, the children must become the main actors of this declaration and that we must also take into account the convention of the year 1989, the convention on the rights of the children. This convention, the only one country in the world has not signed. And I am sure that now the United States will also rejoin the convention because it's essential. It's essential that all together now we take into account the children. I have one particular proposal, a new right of the children, the prevention of the, in the neonate, in the newborn, of these diseases that can be diagnosed and treated and they are completely normal, but otherwise they are with neurological neurons affection forever. Therefore, when there is irreversible results of this disease, I am sure that this can be declared as a human right of the children to have all the children of the world this diagnosis and this treatment if necessary. Dear friends, today I would like to congratulate Elena Valcarcel, I would like to congratulate all those that have been working for the success of this network. Because uh, once we have a network of peace, once we are really thinking on peace and what must be the main actors of this peace, I am sure that we will have the possibility of changing from very passive listening 
what we must do to be actors, to be main actors for our future.